Do you see yourself on the sign? Do you see yourself on the sign? Do I see myself? Or on the left side is what they call us. Are you a Mexican? African American? A white woman? Black woman? So you're a part of the 12 tribes of Israel. You are chosen. Right. Right? The white man stole your land, colonized it. So we're going to show you what Jesus Christ is like. Show up. Show up. Brother Zion off, off the set. Zion off the set. Watch this. Do you know what Jesus Christ is like? So you say you go in the Bible, right? So now you have, what we, look, earlier we were telling our brother he's from the tribe of Ephraim. He was a Puerto Rican. So you got to be able to see yourself in this Bible. Gad is a mighty tribe in this Bible. Right. You are in this Bible. Your forefathers. It's not just. It's not. This Bible has nothing to do with white people. Watch this. The Book of Revelation. You, hold on. You know what Jesus Christ is like, according to the Bible. You got a guess? They say he looks like that. Or when he walked the earth too. We're gonna to show you what he looks like when he walked the earth. I'm like, I'm like, why does it matter? He's like, you said, why did it matter? Like, what color is he? You don't think it matters? I mean, that's what I'm asking. Is it like, are you asking me what who he is? No, according to the Bible, or not in your mind. According to the Bible. Or when he walked the earth. Both. No, when he walked the earth. Yeah, what do you look like? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Not that not like that, right? And why they give us that then if he was if he is black? Why they give us a false image? Right. I'm gonna show you why. Why did you give me a false image? The people that took your land that colonized you guys. You got to. You gotta get get your get back. You can't. They took your land and pushed you guys on reservations. Well, right? Well, we will, if, if they didn't put you in a position, you wouldn't have to sell your land. Okay, we're going to show you that. That's, this is, that's a part of this. Book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. This is a description of Jesus Christ. He had white, woolly, afro hair. And it's No, not because it's old. It's just the white, the white part just represents his it's wisdom. Like, he was like, man right? He was 33 years old, remember? That's not old. You know? I can get Let's get that for you. Give me Proverbs 60, 31. And they always say something about that white part, that white hair. We're gonna show you something about the white hair. Do you know like the judges, how they wear white wigs? Why do they do they do that? Because it represents Wisdom, right? That's why they don't do that for no reason. But well, watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 31. The hoary head. The hoary head is the white grayish head. The hoary head is a crown of glory. So what is a crown of glory? A crown of glory. And then his glorified state, like they say, he was the, that was the crown of glory. Hold on. Go back to that. And the flip side, the flip side, and there's other people that got gray hair. But we want to show you what that means, too. The hoary head. The hoary head. Hoary, H O A R Y. Hoary. If you look it up, it means gray is white. The hoary head is a crown of glory. If it be found in the way of righteousness. If it be found in the way of righteousness. That's it. Okay. So it gotta be found just because a person's old with gray hair, that don't mean it's a crown of glory. It gotta be found in the way of righteousness, which they gotta be keeping the law set in commandments. So gray hair is an honor. You know how you know how like our people they try to dye their hair, but it's actually an honor to have gray hair. I got the gray pants going on. Here, because he's been reading, studying, and getting his spirit built up, right? God. The book of Revelations, 
the word revelation means revealing. So this is the revealing of Jesus the Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now you know why it was white. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. You know about the eyes? Why his eyes were flame of fire? So you're getting a breakdown of Jesus Christ today. Yo, we don't get this to a lot of people. We usually run past it. So you want to know why? So now you know why his hair was white. We're going to show you why he had eyes red. Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. I shall be red with wine. They call Christ a wine bibber because right. Christ yeah. sipped a little bit. Right. See? He, had, he wasn't drunk, but he had his, his, yeah, his bloodshot red. So now you know so far he got white woolly hair for a crown of glory. He, right. had, he had red eyes because he was he sipping. Right. Right? His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet, his feet, his feet is skin color. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it's brass. Brown. Brass, like a penny. Like brown gold. And his copper right. And his, oh, right. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burn in a furnace. What color does anything turn if it gets burned? What color? Black. So right. Jesus Christ was a what? According to the Bible. According to the Bible. A black man with an afro. Can you say right. that? Or you reject it? Do you hate that Jesus Christ is a black man with an afro? Right. Okay, no. Okay. So, and you said, why does it matter? Give me Matthew 24, if you already know. Why does it matter that he's a black man? Or why does, why does it matter what he looked like? Because, for one, Depending on the nationality, if, if somebody say something, it may vary. Like if Bruce Lee said, I'm about to fight for my people, who would you think he's talking about? Right. Huh? If Bruce Lee said, I'm about to fight for my people. If Ben Lodge said, I'm about to pull the World Trade Center out for my people. He's talking about his Afghanistan. Right. You ain't gonna be thinking like, oh, he's talking about the whole world. No, no you thinking like, damn, what they do to the uh, Afghanis? Right. right. So that's why it matters what, that's, that's one reason why it matters what he looked like. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Jesus Christ said, Take heed that no man tricks you. For many, what? For many, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Saying what? Saying, I am Christ. So many shall come in his name, preaching Christianity. Preaching that God. Right. And shall deceive many. Shall trick many people. That's why it matters what he looks like today. Because they think Jesus Christ is like that guy right there. Right. See? The red faced devil. And they are the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. They got a horrible track record. Your ancestors called them the pale faced devil, the, the blue eyed devil. If you did your homework on your people, you know they said that. The Native Americans said they're the blue-eyed devils. Four times. The book of Galatians chapter 1 verse 8. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel right. unto you, that which we have not preached unto you, let him be a curse. Yeah, let him be a curse. Get the preaching out of Jesus. That's what I'm going to do. First 15. They came preaching another Jesus. Right. Right? Watch this. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. <laughs> For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus. See, they came preaching another Jesus. That's another, That's another Jesus. For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached. Our ancestors did not preach that devil. Or if you receive another Jesus. They came with another spirit. When you, when you, when you, when you accept that, you take on another spirit. You, right. you take on a God loves everybody. Right. Or turn, you don't, don't, don't to them. Right. You know, that's another spirit. No. When, 
God does not love everybody. Uh, right. God yeah, said, love your people. Your neighbor, right. your, people. your neighbor is your people. Right. We can prove everything you're saying. Yeah. You got any questions? You look like you got some questions. You look like, hold on. They don't say that. That Bible say that? We can prove it. Watch this. We can learn about this. We got a phone. Scan your QR code. Oh, scan it. Right now. Yeah. Oh, just take a picture. I mean, go to your camera. Go to your camera. You got a minute? You and your woman? You guys got a minute for the word? Brother, you gotta separate from your enemy. You gotta separate from the enemy, bro. See? If you wasn't with her, you would've stopped, bro. You already, I already know. Look at this guy. Remember him before? Oh, he wasn't there? No, that's not us. Look, remember you ran last time? Hey, Neanderthal. Big old Edomite. That's a big Edomite. Look at that big old Edomite. He, hey, Israel. He ran last time. Last time I was talking to him, you guys know you guys been following. He ran. Oh, did he throw something? Oh, I was about to say. He, I'm about to run after him and beat him. Can I hold it real quick, sister? Okay, she's gonna type it in. What, on YouTube? Yeah, just on YouTube, just Israel. Yeah. I think the sister was here. See, see, she's gonna get flashed for that. The sister's gonna get flashed. Now you gotta put more in that, more heat. More, more weight. Yeah, you have to subscribe on present, sister. This is how you can learn more. We'll be out every Saturday. Every Saturday, we have- I put it in the middle. I just want to give you that. You got any question for you, Lee? What tribe you from? Say it loud and proud. Gad. Gad, all crazy. Tribe of Gad. You want to do your thing? Are you the chief on duty? Brother, you got a minute? You got a minute for the word? You and your woman? The words of life, brother. You ain't going to hear this nowhere else. Oh, yeah, hold on. Did you do it? Did it? I'll talk to him. Talk to him, Israel. Y'all been dealing with us all praises to the Most High and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, right? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ, okay? I hope y'all really been paying to the news, paying attention to the news, come, because we are literally living in these last days, right? While the brother, while the brother does that, I'm gonna just bring out this precept, Romans 13 and 11, right? Right. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11 reads, And that, knowing the time. Why do we know it's the time, Israel? Because in Revelation 7, it says that the angels are standing on the four corners of the earth holding back the four winds. What are the four winds? The four winds. Oh, you already lit it? No, no. What, all the incense? Yeah, you already lit it. Where's the pen? Oh, okay, I'll leave two over here. Uh, how do we know that it's time? Because Revelation 7-4 says that the four angels standing on the four corners, holding back the four winds, the destruction, uh, until they have served, uh, so like until the, the servants of God have been sealed right in their forehead. We already told you what seals us. It's the faith in Yahweh Shai. It's like the brother Gabar said. 
is knowing what tribe you're from. Christ ain't coming back to save Puerto Ricans. He's not coming back to save African Americans, strong black and proud people, right? So now that we're waking up, now that we're being sealed, right? Because that's what's stopping World War III, that we have to be sealed. The children of Israel have to come back to their nationality. Right. Right. Possible, right? We have to come back to our nationality, our book, our God, our Messiah, okay? And keep the commandments and the faith in your house shop. So, uh, on the side, I think the wind on the side. Revelation 13, 11. The Savior. Come. And that knowing the time, we know it's time. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. When this was wrote, right, Paul knew that our salvation was nearer then because Yahshua. Came back and showed the love. Oh, praises to the Most High. Uh, you got a push up on it? Right? We know it's time because the Israelites are waking up and coming back to our nationality, our book, our Messiah. So we're walking around here in the spirit. Remember uh, Malachi 2 or Habakkuk 2, Malachi 2, of a man walking in the spirit of falsehood? And law and the spirit of falsehood do lie, right? He will even be a prophet to you people. We're walking in the spirit of your Alashai Hamashiach, right? That's how we're gonna get beamed. Go ahead. Book of Second Exodus, chapter 14, in verse 11. For the world is divided into 12 parts, mm. and the 10 parts of it are gone already. So when he so Ezra, then the 10 parts was gone already when he wrote this. Right. And half of a tenth, and there remaineth that which is after the half of the tenth part. Mm -hmm. So, so there's twelve parts of the earth. Clock, clock. clock on the clock, the water. So all from one to ten is gone. Then he said half of that. So that's ten thirty. Did, did he say? Did he say half of that? Right. That was ten thirty. Read that again. For the world is divided into twelve parts. Right. And the ten parts of it are gone already. Okay. At that time, ten is gone. Two hours left. And the tenth parts of it are already done. In a half of a tenth part. Right. In a half, ten thirty. And there remain that which is after the half of the tenth part. An hour and thirty minutes. Back then. Back then. How? 500 BC, y'all. So, so just like if you've ever watched a game, before the game starts, all the players are on the field warming up. Right now, all the armies are on earth warming up. Remember Yahweh Shai said, and I will bring all nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and my inheritance of Israel. You know what we didn't uh, finish bringing out? That Revelation 17, the whore. Get that from me real quick, King, the Ten Horrors. So like the brother was saying, Trump, he's doing these news conferences where he's telling all the European nations, hey, y'all ain't been paying us our money, bro. Right. Y'all ain't been kicking in. He said, he said, uh, Bush, when he got in the office, that they complained, you guys aren't paying. He, he did a song and dance, he left. Obama, he said, y'all ain't been paying. He did a song and dance and he left. Trump, when he got in the office, he looked at the numbers. He's a businessman. Trump said, hold on, man. Luxembourg, all these little countries, Belgium, Denmark, all you little European countries with all these lands and no military, man, we've been looking out for y'all. Y'all ain't kicking in. Like Devo, he said, he, he, went to, uh, he went to Luxembourg. What you got on my 40? They said, nah, nah, right? So long, sister, you be looking the Bible? You know Jesus Christ, a black man? Huh? Come on, brother, give me a few minutes. Give me a few minutes. Where are you going real quick? Now we're not Muslim, we're Israelites, so are you. You from the tribe of Judah, King. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right, brother. Okay. How's my brother Muslim? 
And he know that's right. That Jesus Christ is so called black man. Let's go to Revelation 17 and 1. Well, we almost do it, but I need to put a book in there so I can keep my page. Alright. Revelation 17, go to verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse 1. Read. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven bowels, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters. So the great whore that sits upon many waters is, is Babylon, right? She's the great whore, America's the great whore. And we're, we're gonna explain what those waters, real quick, jump to uh, 15, 15, so the, so the Israel know what the water's in. Verse 15, and he said unto the waters, which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are people and multitudes and nations and tongues. So the waters which the whore sitteth on are peoples, nations, and tongues. Everybody is speaking English language, right? Everybody wants some of this Babylon money, some of that green back with the white man's face on it, okay? She's the one, the whore. She's the great whore. Why is she whore? Because America will do big business with you. They'll lay down with you for nothing, for anything, right? That's why she's a whore. She wants money. She don't care how she get it. Homosexual laws, pork, uh, fake clothing. America don't care. Just like a whore will have sex with anybody for money, America will do business with anybody for money. Go ahead. Verse, uh, verse two, go back to two. Verse two. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants inhabitant of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of the Lord. Sure, brother, you believe me? It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. No, it's alright. Go ahead, No, that's a good armor. Oh, crazy. That's yeah. good armor. I gotta recommend this armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's windy out here. We're in Seattle, the city of rain, but it's windy. Okay. Let the power out of the air, that shit. <laughs> Knocked over the brother's phone. It's still recording? Yeah. Oh, that motherfucker's strong. This is hard to get this motherfucker back in. Yeah, hold it, pull it up. You'll be taping you. I'll be taping you. I'll be taping you. Two. Plus. P. Give me a back at two and five real quick. Okay. Verse two, uh, 17 and 2 says, With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Look, he's drunk with the wine of her fornication. Okay, he can't even stand up straight. That's America, man. It's fallen, y'all. That was, that Look was spiritual. Him. Look. That's how America is leaning. Leaned over. His kingdom's over. One of these one of these other nations come push him, him don't. Right? That represents these other nations. Well, that's why a stronger base. A stronger base. A wider uh, base. Uh, got the wide base, Israel. Yeah. Right. Uh, you got you got it Oh, it's a lot. Say, try to take it with a word all over the place. The word. He got the wind. Oh. Yeah, I'm back in two and five real quick. Revelation 17 and two says the nations have been, and that has been made drunk with her woman. It's 
real. It's hard, man. It's hard. Oh, <laughs> wind. You try to be careful, man. We deal oh, with the elements. Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yeah. The book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 5. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, uh -huh. he is a proud man. Neither keep at home who enlarges his desire as hell. You see that? He transgresses by wine. Transgress means to trespass, disrespect. This is how this man does it. Now go back to Revelation 15. Revelation 17. Some more on that? There's some more on that? Yeah. And is as death and cannot be satisfied, mm. but gather unto him all nations and heap upon him all people. See that he gathered on him all nations. America is, un is not satisfied with just being America white people. They got Afghanistans, Iraqis, Ukrainians, Chinese people, people he dropped uh, nuclear bombs on live here. Let's go back to those sleeper cells, right? All the inhabitants of the nations have been made drunk from the wine of our fornication. Go ahead. The book of Revelation chapter 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit to the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten arms. So those seven heads represent Israel. Seven heads. Seven heads represent the seven heads represent Esau's it represents uh Esau's kingdoms beginning with Greece. Go to Joe. Oh, Greece, Rome, Spain, France, Germany, Russia, and Great Britain being the seventh head, and America being the eighth that came out of it. Right. Okay. Go to where was that? Joe was at uh 29 and 30 or Joe 30 and 29. I am a brother of dragons. King, right? So why does the Bible call him a dragon? Was it, is he talking about the dragon from Game of Thrones? Right? Let's see what Job says, who was an Israelite. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 29. I am a brother to dragons. He is a brother to who? To dragons. Who was our, Esau was our brother? He's a what? A dragon. See that? Esau's the dragon. Esau's the red dragon in the book of Revelation. Job said, I am a brother to dragons. Who is our brother? Esau. Go back to Revelations, King. Go back to Revelation. Let's, let's jump to verse 10. The book of, Reve the book of Revelation, chapter, chapter 17 and verse 10. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is and the other is not yet come. And when he come, he must continue a short space. That's America, that's talking about America. When America come to rule, must continue a short space. America's conception is only really 1776 as a, as a whole independent country, right? They've only been independent since 1776, a short space, go ahead. And the beast that was, it is not, even he is the eighth, in his other seventh and go into perdition. Where does he go? Into perdition. He's going into destruction. Read on. And the ten horns which thou saw. That's NATO. That's your European Union. Are ten kings. Uh -huh. Which have received no kingdom as of yet. Right. But received power as kings one hour with the beast. See where he these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Oh, remember it said it's better with Right, you see that? Uh, all, all thy men have been confederate right. with thee. Right. They deceived thee because it was all a trick bag. It was like the Trojan horse. Let the horse in and then the booties, the sleeper cells are going to wake up. Okay. Where am I? Uh, 12, 14, 14 years. These shall make war with the Lamb. So these European unions is going to make war with the Lamb, Yahweh Shah. And the Lamb shall overcome them. Mm. For he is Lord of Lords 
and kings of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Four to sixteen. And is that my guy could eat? It's your brother is it, Buck. What it do? We the Israelites. What's up, bro? And he said unto me, the waters which thou saw were the whore city are people and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which and the ten horns EU NATO go ahead. Thou sawest upon the beast, uh -huh. these shall hate the whore. See, that's why are they gonna hate the whore, America? Because Donald Trump ain't gonna protect them no more. Right. That's why they're gonna hate America. They're like, you stinky whore, okay? We didn't, we didn't lay it in the bed with you, let you push all type of fake food and all type of abominations. We spend money with you. And Trump, you got the nerve to fix your little lips and say, you're not gonna help your fellow white brother because of money, wow. right? So what are they gonna do? Why are they gonna be mad? I mean, what are they gonna do then? They shall, they shall hate the whore. They're gonna hate America, go ahead. And shall make her desolate mm. and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And burn her with fire, okay, keep reading. For God hath put in their heart to fulfill his will. Oh, whose will is it? His will. So it's God's will to destroy America, which is Babylon the Great. Right? right. The land of all full, full of abominations. Come on, brother. What's your, oh, you said you was a Muslim? You know that's a religion, right? You do know that's a religion? You see yourself on the sign, King? Right? This is what America would call us. After we went into slavery, right, America stole our true nationalities and gave us these names. Okay? Give me Deuteronomy 2868 real quick, King. Right? So, you see yourself in this chart? You don't see yourself? You don't call yourself, would you consider yourself a so-called black man? Yeah, then you work it like that. You know? Yeah, that's our so-called black man. You know? These are so-called. That's just what we're called. That's not our true nationality, okay? Our true biblical nationality, because in the book of Genesis, that's when God created all nations, right? And when, and so with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we don't know what nation we come from in the Bible. We don't see ourselves in the Bible. That's why a lot of our people throw it to the side because they say Jesus white, God's white, all the people in the book is white, the Jewish man, he's white, the Christians is white. What do I see myself in God's kingdom? That's why we toss this to the side, but this book is talking about us. Now let me read something for you, King, and you probably didn't even know it was in there. So America would call them slavery. The Bible would call it curses. Let's read some of these. What's your name, King? Kendrick. I'm Abiel. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Green. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with So do you know what's part? Yeah. You know what the Israelites was doing in Egypt during the time of Moses? Hard bondage for 400 some years. Moses was a revolutionary. He went unto Pharaoh and said, God said, let his people go. The Israelites, okay? And then he and then the most high God destroyed uh Egypt and the first sons, and then Moses led us out. Moses is telling the Israelites, huh? he's, he's not going to save everybody, brother, right? Exodus 20 and 2 real quick. Oh, no, it's good. So, you, so you do know that the Israelites were in bondage in Egypt for under some years. This is my, this is where I just got to in my research. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, I'm blessed and I found out. Because I'm on my story, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be there to uh, just knowing where I'm at. Nah, nah, listen, King, the Lord is on time. The Most High God is on time in Christ. So this is the right time for you to hear this message. You feel me? The Bible says, we're going to read it in Proverbs 21 and 24, right? You said, because I've heard this statement too. You probably heard it too. What you'll be doing when you turn 30, you'll be doing it for the rest of your life. Have you heard that? Okay, go ahead. The book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Huh. And 
Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's goings is of his own will. Man's goings are of the Lord. No, I get to choose where I want to go. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? See, we don't understand where we're going. You don't understand. You said, I wish I would have been this. You can't understand that. It's, it's up to the Most High God. Go back to where we was holding. Revelations, listen to this, King. The book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did the Israelites go into slavery? With ships. So if the Israelites went into slavery in ships, and we went into slavery in ships, who are we then? Thank you. Oh, Hallelujah. Put it up here. <laughs> That's right, brother. And we've never been taught this. These are prophecies. The reason the pastors can't teach this is because they're in league with America to teach that God loves everybody. Jesus is white, right? They're in, they, they, they teach lies, King. Okay, you got a phone on you? Hey, Amen. This QR code. Right, we out here every Saturday to teach our people because the world's about to end, King. You know that, uh, aim, your, aim your camera at it. If that don't work, you got to go to YouTube. So we out here to bid our people back to the marriage. Right. Jesus the Christ is the groom. We're the brides, right? We got to get our wedding garments fixed. Did it, did it pop up? We got to get our wedding garments right. You know what your wedding garment is, King? What is it? It's the laws of God. That's how God recognizes you. It's not the clothes you put on, per so se, right? It's the spirit. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Just go back up. Come on. It's the spirit that's on you. That's how God recognizes you. Okay? So you, do, you, do, you, do you know uh, you know some laws, King? You know we got to keep the laws. Let me give you a few laws real quick. Give me Leviticus 19.27. Let me give you a few laws real quick, King. So that's what makes us holy. What makes us a holy nation? Holy means set apart. What sets us apart from the other nations is God's laws. In the, uh, Leviticus chapter 19, we're going to see something. Because I see you kind of grow a beard too. So after I read this, you, right, you got it. You say you believe in the Bible? John 14, 15 says, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's what Christ said. 1 John 5 and 3 says, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So we're going to see if you love God, if you keep his commandments. Now let me give you some commandments. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. You shall not brown the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So you can't mar the corners of thy beard. What was that, 27? Yeah. 21 and 5. Yeah. So no, you could, you could, you could, you could. Shave it down. You can bring it, if you got a big puppy beard, you can bring it down. You can't get the little chin strap line up. Come on, you can't just get a sideburn. Yeah, you can't get the Lloyd Banks, right? You can't get the, you, you feel me? You can't, go ahead. The book of Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Right. 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So no Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, I see you got the dreads, all praises, okay? You can't bald your head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither, what's your name again, brother? Kendrick. Neither shall Kendrick do what? Shave off the corner of their beard. See that, Kendrick? Can't shave off the corner of your beard. You gotta let that grow. Listen, how do you recognize a male lion? By his mane. By his mane. By his what? By his mane. By yeah. his mane. Only women and babies right. are naked face. Have naked faces. Yeah, right. You feel me? You're not a woman and you're not a baby. <laughs> right. Come so on, you gotta man. let that mighty beard grow, King. You yes, feel sir. me? And it, uh, the Zonderman the 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 Compact Bible Dictionary tells us that a beard, let me, let me get that for you. A beard, right? We're gonna see what a beard is. Huh? huh? Yeah. Come on. How you doing, sister? You believe in the Bible? You know Jesus the Christ is a black man? You know he's a black man, right? He's dark skinned with a damn fro. Yes, in Revelation 20, 14, 15. There you go, sister. He looked like Wesley Snipes with an afro. That's our God. Our God looks like us. 
How are we the only people with a God that don't look like us? That's because they enslaved that she, into our mind. She envisioned Wesley Snipes her head with an apple and she's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, all praise. Oh, all praise. I'm, I'm going to get a scripture on that too. But look, this is beer. 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 This is another bit of compact vital. Compact vital is there. Uh, beer. A badge of manly dignity. What is it? It's a badge of manly dignity. Badge is like something you wear as like the name tag, yeah. so your beard is something you gotta wear as a manly dignity. Manly. All praises manly. to the most high God. All praises. All praises to the most high God. So I'm glad you, you stopped and, and listened to us, Kendrick, Brother Kendrick, because listen, man, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people on this sign, the 12 tribes of Israel, we gotta repent. Yeah. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, in verse 8. Bring it out. So they read in the book, in so they read in the book, in the law of God, distinctly, and gave the sense that caused them to understand the reading. They're giving sense to the scripture. Like, like that Wesley Snipes. Yeah. The sense of Jesus Christ being looking like Wesley. Right. And she thought of it. Uh -huh. Illustration. Right. And that's why, like I was going back, we have turned away from the Bible. I did when I was younger. I always had a zeal but not according to knowledge. Right. In our spirit, we can feel God. Right. We know that these is his words right. that are written for us. Right. But when we went to church on Sunday, right. we seen white boys. Right. We heard God loves everybody. Well, we're going to beat our back in by the white man. Right. right? So that's why we turn our back. But now when we come back to the Bible, we bring these words to life. We, we go inside Revelations 1, 14 and 15 where it describes Christ with hair, wool, dark skin, and we bring it to light. We, there's a picture now. Okay? So that's what we are here to do. We need you to join us, brother. Yeah. Get this we'll you up here, King. Shalom, brother. Shalom. What's up, Esau? I'm listening. I'm listening. Bro. Okay. You seem like a... Wits Compass Style, Satan. Wits Compass Style, Satan. From to and fro. Give me uh, Genesis 25. <laughs> Let me let me show you who your dad is. Bring it on. Nobody probably yeah, talking. What's your name? Brad. Brad, let me show you What's Brad. I'm Abiel. This Abiel. is Gabar. Master Abiel. Gabar? Master Gabar. Master Abiel. Say your name one more time. Master Gabar and Master Abiel. Say that. Master Gabar, Master Abiel. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Shit, I got that. You got that. 99 safe. I won't I won't be able to say it in five minutes. I sure want the book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. Read. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was buried. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the child, the children struggled together within her. So this is the beginning of your dad and the beginning of our dad. Right. Our dads are twin brothers. Yeah, we're all from the same, same blood, 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 aren't blood, we? And blood. they're, walk, walk with me. And they're, and they're struggling already in the womb. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? If this is a blessing, why does it feel like there's a war in my stomach already? And she went to inquire of the Lord. She went to ask the Most High God. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two nations, the so-called two nations. Two nations of people. Two nations. The Israelites are in her womb, and the so-called white people are in her womb. Okay. And I say so-called because you're not, you're not actually white, and the Bible's going to say that. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. See, and we have two manners. Your kind of mannerism. Y'all can't dance. You guys can't cook. You guys like cold weather. You guys like open-toed sandals. I don't you guys know. like bloody steaks. We have two manners of people are going to be together. They shall be separated from thy bowels. See, they were supposed to be separated when they came out. These two boys are two nations separated. Your father and our father. This is history that you probably didn't know. Go ahead. Are they from the same father? They're from the same mom and dad, yes. We are from the same mom and dad, but we're like two that. nations. Like that. And the one people should be stronger than the other people. See, the one people that's stronger than the other people is the black so man. Yeah, yeah. So listen, people of color can make people who don't have color like you. But we can't come out of a man and a woman of your nation. Right. Can a black man be born from a woman of your nation? I don't know really anything about that, but I can tell you that, tell you this. I've always done black people. So that's all I know. Go ahead. Hey. Let me ask, they seem like a smart kid. 
always can, like black people. Can white people, people birth a so-called black man? No, but black people can birth people without color. That's just common sense. Uh, uh, you you have black something what's called recess, you have something what's called recessive genes. Is that right, sister? You can only birth people white that look like you. Yes, but a black woman and a black man can birth people of all colors. That's the genetic superiority we have over you. Right. Well, you can't I even be in the sun. I right. I never saw that. And the elder shall serve the younger. See, the elder is, is your forefather Esau. He's supposed to serve the elder. Go ahead. And when her day to be delivered was fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. We know they're not identical twins because they're two nations and there's two manners of people. They're going to be separated. Do they look different? Do they look They're different? fraternal twins, not identical. But do I mean do they look like do one we, black and do one we white? look alike? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He said one black or one white. They do give color. Go ahead. And the first came out red. I didn't know this. What color is he? Red. What color are you, man? What, what's your name again? I've always red. said I was red. I've always I said, you know, when I fill out the forms, you know, yeah. I, I probably check uh, ca I've checked right. Caucasian. Caucasian. I don't think it never well, what color is your you've looked in the mirror, what color is your skin complexion? I'm kinda Pinkish, yellow, red. Pinky shell, really? Sometimes I can tan. What you know, color was the first up? boy that came out? Because you're not black, I'm not white. Right. 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 You're red people, we're brown people. Right. In the you're first, bronze. that's why you're, you're called wrong. redneck. You're like, why, why do you think they call you guys rednecks? Well, that's because yeah. uh, some because people. Because you guys are red people. Go ahead. In the first came out red all over like in Harry Garvin, and uh -huh. they call his name Esau. Esau means wasted away is he. The reason you was named Esau, Moses wrote this. And so when you guys came out, when the, when, when the father seen your forefather come out, you didn't have no melanin on your skin. You weren't brown like everybody else. So they named you Esau, which means wasted away is he. Your melanin was wasted away. And that was, okay? And I'm just That's saying what that means. What we're going into, brothers and sisters, history. we're going into history. We're going into... Oh, y'all yeah, know who your lights are? Okay, I'm, Hispanic. I'm Hispanic. I'm not white. Oh, you're Hispanic? Okay, brother, another confusion so, of faces. You're from the tribe of um, Israel. Uh, yeah. I know. I watch all of that. You from Judah, sister? But we're talking color skin, not race. I know Judah. The, oh, the so-called yeah. black oh, people yeah. from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. You the real Jew. Yeah. That's right. Okay, my people. Right here. 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 <laughs> what do you say? I was born a poor black child. He was born a poor black child. You can't make this shit up. Yeah. You don't know what that means. You don't know what that means. You don't know what that means. means. Oh. You don't know what that means. You can be anything you want. Right, right, right. Yeah. I identify as a poor Usually black child. Usually the supposed to pop up and supposed to take you to a YouTube channel. You guys are... What are you doing? You guys are You guys are great. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me finish your forefather. So yeah, the first, great, man. right? Yeah. Listen, the first I really came like out. The, I like the vibe. Dude. Everybody say that they like the vibe. I like the vibe. It's, it's cool. Just Israel. J U S T T. You like the vibe? Say so what's this? She wants to let you know she's mixed with black and Hispanic. Oh, okay, okay. So according to the Bible, you are who your dad is. So your daddy is Hispanic. Grandpa. Grandpa. Your grandpa. Oh, your grandpa. Yeah, yeah the grandpa. Oh, 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 this one for the camera. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I get it. Okay, all praises. I'm rushed. What's your name, brother? They call him the jeweler. The, the jeweler. Yeah, I just subscribe. Subscribe back to me. The jeweler for show. Sure. I'm your brother Abiel. This is. Have a good night, my brother. You too, kid. Shalom, 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 go to the bar. Okay, shalom, my brother. Shalom, shalom. Hey, he did some magic tricks. What do you do? So. You can see the color of my skin. You can see the color of my skin. There's a card that's mm. white. Bro made the card disappear. Right. The color of the card is white. Your skin is not right. Give me that true. Yeah. 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 One lock. We got a. Right, I just did one for you. You camera. seen the trick? You did on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys, when you guys are watching that back, you'll be like, "Hey, that crazy white guy just did a card trick." This is saving the sorcerer to the church. What you what? Oh, 25, 25 again. And the first came out red like a hairy garment. Mm -hmm. And they called like it the name garment. Esau. Yeah, because you're red and hairy. If you don't give the white man a, 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 a shaving fine. tool, you guys will be hairy as a cave. How long did it take you to grow your beard? Two days. Uh, Two hours. Right.
No. That's a lion cave. I don't think my beard grows faster or slower than yours. I wonder your beard yours. should take the grow. I've I never grown one. Their hair grows faster. Listen, you guys are red and you fairy. Ireland? But I've always liked Where are you from? You got an accent. Uh, my grandparents are from Louisiana. That's a Louisiana accent? Uh, I don't know why I just have a weird, you know, accent. You were born here? I was born in Tacoma. I pretty much grew up on a basketball. I was born in Tacoma. Missy, you was born here. It doesn't matter where you was born, Jabroni. So long, King. You got a few seconds for us? You got a few seconds for us? You hit her Bible? You I, was, I was already up there. Oh, okay, over here? Yeah, no, I was just trying to make sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. These guys are fun, man. These guys yeah, are great. Oh, it's in the spirit. You guys yeah, are great. You guys are great. You need to do a, 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 a podcast. You know what I'm saying? We got a YouTube channel. You need, you need to tape it right now. Listen, Brad, listen, Brad, real quick. I'm about to You need to put this on. In the first came out red, hairy, and hairy like a hairy garment. Uh -huh. They call his name Esau. Read, read, Esau. Read, read, read. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. So after the first boy came out, they said his color, and they gave his name, right? His twin brother came out. Why they didn't give his color? Because he looked like everybody else on the planet. Right. You feel me? That's why. Jacob, is that the guy that got kidnapped and, uh, to, and went to Egypt? No, that's Joseph. That's oh. Joseph. That's, this brother sold Joseph in the slavery. Keep reading. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared them. Uh -huh. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. You guys are cunning hunters. I'm not. So this is qualities of your of your these are characteristics, mannerisms of Esau. He's a cunning hunter, a man of the field. No man likes getting in bushes and camouflage leaves, right. looking like the leaves and killing innocent animals what all the damn day. What about the Sport. aborigines? The aborigines did it to eat. They did it for clothing. They didn't do it for what? For sport. They didn't do it for sport like yeah. you do. I, I think you guys will damn put no, the I, antlers yeah, head yeah. on the wall. You now, slug man, hunting. I, I don't do that for sport. I don't like it. You're what? You got cousins who do it. Huh? Right. Your family? His big brother does it. It's Right. Yeah, probably did. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, and I can tell you this. Hunting hunters. I bought a shotgun to go hunting when I was in the army. Went to Fort Hood. Couldn't, couldn't. He see. don't do it though. Right. And I shot a. I finally shot a rabbit. Right I finally shot a rabbit. I felt so bad about it. I sold my shotgun. Cunning hunter. Uh -huh. You're a man of the field. You're a man of the field. Go oh, ahead. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in the field. He real. And Isaac loved Esau because he did not. And Jacob saw pottage, uh -huh. and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. Right. And Esau said to Jacob, "Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage." That same what? Red pottage. That's why you like your steak. That's like how you like your steak. How you like your steak? Well, I like rare. Oh, say that. Hold on, you gotta ask me. I like my prime rib rare. You like it? What? I like my prime rib rare. What about your ribeye? I don't, uh, no, probably ball? not as much, but I don't know. You like my like red, bloody. Yeah, but I like, you like it, it bloody. Mm, I like it. I like it rare. I like my meat. I like it rare. I like steak. Yeah, that's rare. That's, that's the rare, first. medium rare. It it rare is the blood. I like a little pink still in the middle. You know? Yeah, I watched that again. Where's that twenty nine? Yeah. And Jacob side potted. Uh -huh. He was cooking. He was cooking side potted. Potted. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. He came from hunting. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, mm -hmm. I pray thee, with that same red pottage. Why is it the same? Because he's red. For I am faint. Uh -huh. Therefore was his name called Edom. Edom means red. Exactly, just red. Esau means wasting away his heat. He wanted this red pottage, this rare meat, and then his name became Edom, which Where means red. people come from, man. And Jacob said, you. sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright be to me? Uh, and Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore to him, and he sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of the town, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Hebrews 12 and 16. So this is why the salt is, is embedded in your nations of people to hate us because we got the birthright, right? I don't hate you, I never You did. might not. 
my, never did. Your nation as a whole. My, my, my and family. The reason you might very be racist, racist because you were the same block. My family up. growing up, very racist. Very uh, racist. Exactly. They had me. God is a racist too. Did you know that? They had me flipping off black people when I was four years old. <laughs> Dad, you what? Flipping off black yep, people? Yep, and, and saying, you know, the N word. Yep, calling call on the. Yeah, except yeah. when I saw one on TV, I'd walk we up. We knew what the N word was. Nigger. Nigger. On the TV, you like, you the little baby, you can you say, say what? Uh, wow. Well, so you're all right. Yeah, I was, well, I, I, when I was four years old, yeah. my family was so racist from yeah. the South. That's what they had me doing. They had you do what? But I grew up. Completely different. Have to no, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. No, you want me to say it so it's offensive to prove something. We're not oh, going to get mad. You know, nigger in the Bible, all it means is black. You know, nigger just means black. All it means is black. No we, 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 we like to have real dialogue. These, these are dialogues we need to have. Right. When, when I, I was doing card tricks for some. There's some black people at a casino one for me? And, hey, and, and the one black guy said to the other, hey, check this nigger out. And he was talking about me. And I was oh, like, hey, nigger? Yeah. And I was like, man, I take that I take that as a compliment, man, because what? that's what you call each other as a as a, 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 a Oh, yeah. this is my nigga, why don't I say this is my yeah, nigga? Yeah, you, you, yeah, that's what you call each other. And so he oh, and he called me that. That like included me. Yeah. Yeah. And you feel good? Yes. Okay, watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bible, the Zunderman Bible Compact Dictionary. Right. Page 399, Digger. Black, a surname of Simeon, mm. one of the five prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch who led of the Lord to send for Paul and Barnabas. Wow. Wow. Where's your guys' hat for money? Why, you got some money? Well, you want to donate to the cause? Yes! Hand it to the truth. Donate to the cause, man. Donate to the yeah, give me that. There should be a, you should the have a little Hebrews, out with a couple bucks in there. The book of Hebrews right chapter 12 and verse 15. Read. Uh, Fuck it. That's all I got. Lest, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who was more so of a We still going. Okay. All right, we could call it a day. Uh, what, so, what's your uh, uh, YouTube channel? Your phone? Still recording? Uh, yep, I got it. I'ma hold it. Okay. All right, Brad, you gonna see if someone is doing the trick? Yeah, yeah, I did the trick. So, uh, and uh, so let me let me tell you while we're out here, Brad. Right, your country, your nation, America. Nuclear thermal fire. Satan didn't like the way we bring out Hebrews. Satan didn't like that. Well, he's, he's not. He's not. Shalom, my brother, right here. He's Shalom, brother. brother. Chicago. West, Chicago. There we go, gang, gang. Chicago. This is my, this is my YouTube channel. Chicago. 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 You know Jesus the Christ was a black man according to the Bible? Yeah. Everybody think it's a white man. They ain't know Jesus is not white, bro. He's black. How you know he's black? But it's people got different religions, though, bro. Yeah. See, religion is man-made, brother. If you look on the screen, you got, you got a few minutes? If you look over there, religion, That's your YouTube what religion this is, is my YouTube in the Bible? Channel. And, uh, what religion this, is in the Bible? This is what's going Bandits, on in America you know, right now. I read about it sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. So I, I tipped you guys. Uh, yeah, for sure. I tipped you guys a, a, a twenty spot, and all I ask is thank. Uh, okay. I'll say thank you, and no. I would like you. Now, what's your name of your YouTube channel? He going. He going to hook you up. Right here? Yeah, that guy right there. Is that the Jesus Christ you believe in? And I want you to look at my YouTube yeah, channel. I, 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 I have, no. Uh, Did you know that I'm talking about black people in Islam. Bible, on my YouTube hold on channel. Quick, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Nowhere in the Bible can you find this image described, right? Uh -huh. So what, what me and my brother can do for you real quick, I'll probably pull it because the king, we can go, I shall go in the Bible. We're going to see if he looks more like this image, a dark skinned man with white woolly hair, right? Skin of brass, you probably heard the description. Skin of brass, as if he, right? They said he had bronze skin. Yeah. Let's let's get it in the Bible real quick, okay? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. That's what I'm saying, Revelation. The word revelation means revealed. This is the revealing of Jesus to Christ. 
John, everybody, everybody John likes, was on the island everybody of Everybody likes Catholics. everybody else. There right. ain't, and Jesus there, the Christ came to him. There's not hate, man. There's not. They're, they're said, uh, I want you to promoting hate to divide us. So, Revelations 1 and 14. Brad, 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 hold on now. I'm talking to my brother. We've been stuck up. I, I was going to say the F word, but you're probably supposed to shut it right. We, we already stuck a utensil in you. You're done. Right? Revelation <laughs> means the revealing of Jesus the Christ. Please look at my His picture. head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So this is the description. This is white like wool. Wooly is a texture, right? What people have wooly textured hair, bro? Wool is nappy, so-called nappy hair, curly hair, sheep hair. This is wool. You ever heard the statement, they pulled the wool over your eyes? Bro, there's a statement that they say, well, somebody pulled the wool over your eyes, meaning you can't see. The reason they, they can say that is because wool is Negro hair, but it was pulled over our eyes and we don't see it now. We don't see a black man, right? All we see is this white dude they gave us. That's how they, you, you can let that little shit fly. That was the white dudes. Right? All right. <laughs> you can let that little shit fly. So it says white and woolly, it, as white as snow, color and texture. And his eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine in moderation, right? You know, you and brother, if you get drunk, the whites of your eyes might turn red. Like, you know, like brothers, when we drink a little bit, Christ's eyes turn red also. He started at his head, he said he got a white afro. He got red eyes. Now he's about to describe his feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like brown, like copper. Right, brass is metal, but it has a color to it. It's like brown, brother, right? And then he said, as if they burned in a furnace. If you take anything, you put it in a furnace, and it comes out burned, what color is it? It's burned. If you burn your toast, what color is it? What color is it? <laughs> if it's burned, if, if, mama too chicken, if, mama too chicken, if mama burns chicken, if mama burns the chicken, if mama Yeah, bro. No trick black. questions. Yeah, he was thinking. <laughs> he was thinking way too hard. Yeah. It was, yeah, because I'm just trying to give you uh, the description of his skin color. Right. He said he got a white woolly afro. <laughs> he said, he, then he looked down at his feet like fine brass, as if, meaning almost like he burned in the furnace. That's how dark Jesus the Christ looked like according to the Bible. So he looks more like this image according to the Bible. A black man, Wesley Snipes with an afro. That's right. He does not yeah, look that right. He did that right. Man to say that. Jesus the Christ is a black man and he's not a Middle Eastern because Israel is in Africa. Right. We are the real Jews. Kanye said we the real Jews. Right. Said we the real Jew. right. We're not Jewish. We're tribe of Judah. Tell him, brother. We, you from the tribe of Judah, brother. You Tell got him, brother. You yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube channel right. so you can learn more about this. Right. You from All Chirac. To the most high. Phone them. Phone them. Phone them. <laughs> <laughs> Go to YouTube. J U S T T. Uh, Israel, space, and then Israel. And that's the YouTube channel, King. We upload, we out here every Sabbath. We upload every other day for the edification of the nation of Israel. Okay, and this is what it's about. Yeah, that's us, brother. You subscribe to all praises to the Most High. Shalom, King. Thank you, all right, brother. Shalom, King. Hey, real quick, what tribe you from? Huh? What tribe you from? You see yourself on this side? Over here is what America would call us, and this is our real nationality. Okay. Yeah. You see yourself, brother? African American? So called African American. So, what tribe would that make you from? Shit. Judah. That's, Judah. Yeah. That's the top tribe. Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, is from the tribe of Judah. The black man is from the tribe of Judah. That's why can't nobody do what brothers do. Because right. we're from the same tribe as the Son of God. Even though we're supposed to be doing everything in righteousness, 
right? But we fail from our from our angelic state as kings of this earth, King David, King Solomon, and now we niggas and, and Africans, but we coming back to the one true God and his only begotten son, the black Messiah. That's what we out here for, King. All praises, all praises, bro. All praises, bro. No, nah, we uh, all years black history according to the Bible. The Bible's black history. Right. The Bible's black history, and that's all year. Shalom, King. Shalom, King. Judah. We're gonna ring it for ring, ring. We're gonna uh, read the precepts for sister. Read it for sister. Yeah. We got footage. Here we go. We got footage. We got footage. See that? That's what it's about. What sister? What she at? Matthew thirteen. Twenty six, I believe. Thirteen twenty six. No, twenty six. Israel, you guys know what we do. We, we 26. Satan. Satan trying to take away the word. I'm trying to give it a 26. Yeah. Look at this, Israel. I got pages flying. I'm trying to sh Satan. Satan trying to shake. Okay. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. But me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, For if she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. So Christ understood what it was for. Oh shit. What the hell is going on? Oh shit. He trying to buck, he trying to blick him down. Is he about to blick him? He hit the corner. Oh shizzle. Let me get back to it. So I can be nosy. <laughs> she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman have done be told for a memorial of her. Good look, sis. So with that, we're going to say Shalom. Quam Yashallah. Quam Yashallah. Quam Yashallah. Quam Yashallah. Quam Yashallah.